What's up guys? As you guys know, Newmarkey won the faction rally and now they're selling a sword. If you pledge, it's only 1,000 glimmer. If you didn't pledge, it's 50,000 glimmer. It's a pretty good sword. It's basically the quick fang without lightweight, but you can use it in all three classes. It's a pretty interesting perk where when you swap to it, you get bonus damage for like 1.5 seconds as you'll see in a bit. But this video, I'm going to show off some of the numbers, how to use the sword, what's the best part about it, and also I'm going to give you a few of my opinions on what faction rallies are and what needs to change. So let's go into patrol and look at some of the damage numbers on this weapon. Now there's two setups on this weapon. One is more sword ammo but less damage, and one's more damage but less ammo. So in these first few clips I'm using the more damage. As you saw right there, I just tested how long the buff lasts, so it's 1.5 seconds almost on the dot. Now, just a regular hit without doing the perk is 373. Now when I proc the perk by swapping, I get 571. That's a 53% increase, which is pretty noticeable. So you want to be swapping before you do attacks as much as you can with this weapon. Now let's look at RT damage. The regular RT does 939 in total. Then, as you see here in a second, with the buff perk, after swapping, it does 1257, which is a 34% increase, which is pretty noticeable. So once again, you want to be swapping to this weapon before you do your attack. Now let's look at the other setup you can use, which is more ammo and less damage. So the regular attack does 355, and with the perk active, you hit 533, which is a 50% increase, which is almost the same as it was before. Now let's look at RTs. Without the perk, it does 620. I'm excluding one of those 155s because for some reason it hit four times instead of three. And that's never happened before, so to keep it a good test, we're going to exclude one of those. With the perk active, it hits 1203, which is a full 94% increase, almost double damage, which is almost the same as the other setup on the sword. So there's no point not using the more ammo setup because it almost does the same damage anyways. And you're going to get six more sword ammo using that setup. Alright, so now let's talk about some of my opinions on the Faction Rally. Overall, I think it's a trick to make us play old content and think it's new. Because when you think about it, all the stuff you do to get tokens is stuff that's always been in the game. Like public events, Lost Sectors, Strikes, PvP, all that stuff. That's not new content in any way. So, the only new content in Faction Rallies is the weapons. But they're all reskins. Which, reskins are the same model weapon with different perks. It is the same model, but at least it's new perks. But, when you think about it, if you're going to keep on reusing the same models over and over again for every single event in the game, but just give us different perks every time, isn't that the same thing as random rolls? So basically what they're doing in Destiny 2 is giving us less weapons, but using the same weapons over and over again with different perks, to give us basically the equivalent of what random rolls used to be, but with a smaller gun selection. But anyways, that's a topic for another video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.